the topic of the five jambalas has been raised and I have to be quite honest I know next to nothing about the five jambalas um, what I do know is that we have really three kinds of um, ways to look at this we can look at what uh, what are the five deities of Jambala uh, what kind of five deity configurations are there for Jambala and uh, what kind of uh, five Jambala conflation has uh, taken place so first of all there's many forms of Jambala. We, we have uh, Jambala is a Buddhist tantric deity and its primary function is uh, wealth and uh, the, the, uh, the creation of wealth not for secular purposes but for uh, continuing a uh, religious life and for doing retreats and for education. Uh, it's for um, uh, spiritual and uh, practice concerns. Now we we have a, a, a f we have many forms of jambala. We have more than probably ten just within the Sarma tradition, and we have many many more within the Nyingma revealed treasure tradition. Um, but uh, some of these are solitary uh, and, and single uh, and do not have a retinue or a, a, a really a, a mandala with them. Others will have a, a an eight deity retinue or 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 more. But we do have one white. Uh, Jambala, uh, where he's uh, one face, two armed, wrathful, rides a dragon, and he has a retinue of uh, four dakinis, and this is called a five deity um, uh, configuration Jambala. Um, now, it's possible that there are some uh, relatively obscure forms of Jambala that are, are, are called a five deity configuration as well. Now, also, within the ritual text and some meditation texts, we can find reference to uh, five uh, forms of Jambala, again with reference to the five symbolic Buddhas, um, Vairochana, Akshobhya, Amitabha, Ratnasambhava, Mogasiddhi. And, and this all has to do with, uh, with um, the initiation process. So it's, it's the main figure of Jambala, but then the, each of the five uh, symbolic Buddhas is, is taking on the form of Jambala as well. And they're all identical except for a difference in color. We can also have in some texts mention of uh, five uh, Jambalas as a kind of body mandala within, within the visualization of deity yoga. So that's also possible, but also those all those... Uh, uh, forms of Jambala are all identical in iconographic appearance except for a possible difference in color for the most part. Now in terms of what we have in the 20th century and 21st centuries we have a, a, a really a lot of art that has appeared in the art market in the art marketplace of the world in, and of course this means Kathmandu, India, Nepal, uh, China, Tibet uh, and especially on the internet where we have these compositions of five Jambala forms of Jambala often it's a it's a green form or a yellow form at the center and then a yellow form a red form a white and a black and then this notion that there there's somehow five main forms of Jambala has has sort of taken hold and um, <clears throat> this I don't know about I have not seen any literature uh, about this. It is it is possible that some religious teacher might have had um, might have conflated five popular forms of jambala into a single uh, praise or some kind of, of a ritual practice. It's it's possible. I'm just not aware of it. What I am aware of is that these compositions that have uh, begun to appear in the in the art marketplace really only since uh, around the late 80s, 1980s. So we're going back about uh, 30, 35 uh, years with this. Uh, and then we begin to see uh, some of these forms out of the five are well known, like the white form riding the dragon comes out of the tradition of Atisha and is believed to be a, a pure vision experience of Atisha, and then it comes down through the Kadampa and Gelugpa traditions. 
Uh, the yellow form, uh, one face, two armed, holding a, a, a mongoose and a, and a, um, a citron fruit. Uh, this is very common to a lot of, um, of tantras and is, is well known throughout uh, different religious traditions of Buddhism. The red form is coming out of the Chakrasambhara cycle of tantras and comes down through the Sakya tradition and Malotsawa, um, and it's red with a consort. The black uh, form is coming, is really coming out of a lot of early um, popular literature. Uh, I don't recall the source text for it, but it, it in in the Sanskrit traditions, um, it is well represented in iconographic manuals and initiation texts. Um, so. Yes, it is possible some teacher in the last 30, 40 years came up with a combined conflated practice of these five jambalas, but otherwise they don't go together. They all come out of different source texts. They all have different uh, uh, um, cycles of Tantra. They have different lineages. Um, they all have the same name. They have the same function, but they all have different origin stories. Um, so really it's a conflation. Uh, these five jambalas and a lot of the art in the in the um, art marketplace isn't even consistent with who's at the center and and how you properly uh, paint or or iconographically represent these forms it's not all that accurate so I would tend to think that uh, this idea of five jambalas uh, that we can see represented in 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 paintings is for the most part uh, market driven. It's not um, coming out of any kind of religious context or tradition. So press the like button, you can always subscribe, you can share, and you can support Har on Patreon and, um, and encourage us to uh, create more videos.